See, we already CMD count money daily. So the name of the, the whole mixtape is CMD the motto. And first we just go go with CMD because it's our first mixtape since we've been an independent label. So, and then my cousin, me and my cousin was riding one day and he said, you need to add something to it, a little spice to it, something to it, just, just to make it sound a little bit unique. I like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to be too fancy too, you know what I'm saying, first mixtape. So I didn't want to be too fancy. So I just came up, I said, CMD the motto, count money daily. Count money daily, CMD the motto. The motto was CMD. Okay, everybody want to get some paper. You know what I'm saying? Now the release date. Was there any significance on why this release date was chosen for this project? Not necessarily. It, it, it really wasn't. It, we, it, we just thought since people will be out, out of school, and so we just dropped it in. That's, that's about it. Now, for somebody watching this interview, hearing about this project for the first time, or maybe people have seen the cover and the artwork but haven't had a chance to listen, can you describe the sound overall speaking of this of the project of what they will hear? I mean, we'll dissect uh, specific tracks later in this interview, mm -hmm. but for now, just generally speaking, describe that sound. Type of sound we got is just authentic. It's very authentic. It's we live in the country, so it's country lifestyle. Like you eat fish and grits, you wake up, it's, it's just good in the morning. You know what I'm saying? So it's we got a we. Everybody in our in our in, in CMD, nobody sound the same. Like we may say the same lingo or whatever, but we don't sound the same. So everybody got their own little spice to it. So that's how we come together and make re real hits. So the amount of songs on this project, why that amount for this one? See, we put we put we put thirteen because. We didn't want to give them too much. We already had, before beforehand, we already had at least at least about 25 songs we could have put on the tape. We could have gave them all at one time. But first time somebody listened to your mixtape, they don't want to hear no 30 songs and pick out the best four songs. So we just gave them 13, and they can rock out with that and pick the best four songs, five songs, all songs. It's hot. So, How'd you narrow that process down from 25 to 13? How'd you go about that? Because most of the songs, we, we really could have made two mix hits out of it. But we wanted to, we just, I don't know, it just, we had to narrow it down because, like I said, it, nobody ain't going to listen to 30 songs and try to pick out the best. And we came to the, the best agreement because we feel like the first time somebody hears, if they never heard us before, it's going to be a hit. Yeah, it's, I feel like it's going to be a hit. Who put this track list together and what was the process behind that? Really, I didn't have nothing to do with the track list. My managers did, but it was like when I when they showed me the track list, it was like one or two songs we had. We had like fifteen originally. It was one or two songs I really didn't want to go on there. I, I didn't feel like it was fit for, for that type of mixtape. So they really did it, did the uh, did the part behind that. Financially, mm -hmm. how much does a project like this cost to create? Man, see, because we do our own, we record our own stuff, we got our own studio, we build our own studio. So we ain't got to worry about the studio time. Ain't nothing about that. We got our own camera, we got our own green screen, everything. So the only thing we got to worry about is the, the editing. We can could, we, we could record it ourselves, just the editing part. That we, that's all we got to worry about. So it ain't really going to be that much, you know what I'm saying? It's not going to be that much, period. Did you go over or under your budget? No, we we did what we had to do. We had to make we had to sacrifice some things, but that's a that's a well, everything you got to sacrifice. Was it worth it? Whatever that sacrifice was. Yes, of course it was very worth it because we could actually hear our dream that we've been trying to do for so long. So feel feel real good that they actually had, know that we got a project together that we've been thinking about it. We had cousins die behind this that did music and all, so yeah, I think it was very worth it though. Off this mixtape, my favorite one off top is Serving Bass. And it's, that's me 
Dank, and Jet, two T's. So I, I think that's my favorite one because I feel like I just came out of nowhere. Well, not came out of nowhere, but I was sitting in the house. I was just writing hooks, and I just was like serving bass, pressure, courthouse, beat the case. I'm gone. Run at my grandma's house. Boy, you know I'm safe. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I feel like that's what it, that's what it's about. Not what it's about, but you know what I'm saying? Like, that song right there is a smash. We went to the club, performed that two, three di different times. Everybody loved it. First time they hear it, they serving bass pressure. So, off top, I say that's like, that's a number one. You need to go hear it. When, when you, you hear a mixtape, you need to hear that one, serving bass. And that's me, Jet, and Dank. All right, and then the second one on my list I got, I would say Count Moolah Daily. You know what I'm saying? Count Money Daily, Count Moolah Daily. Because in the song, in the hook, you know what I'm saying, saying everybody want money from junkies and the hustlers. Everybody wants some money. So that's our philosophy. Count Money Daily. Fuck you, pay me. You know what I'm saying? So I say that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a classic right there. That's our single, right, really. We, you know, put it on different mix mixtapes already from um, California. I can't think of the, D um, the DJ right now. And DJ Pressure was on DJ Pressure with that. So, yeah, I think that's a, that's a, the second, se second best one to me. Me, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying I'm speaking for everybody in the whole crew. Just, that's just my personal opinion. And I said the third, my third favorite is, is a single by me. It's uh, Dirty South. And and that that song right there, I just I listen to that over and over and over and over and over and over because that song is hot. It's Dirty South, you from the Dirty South, they pocket watching. Everybody wanna see you down, you know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. So I say Dirty South for sure. That's the best that's the best not the best one, but that's I can listen to that over and over. So I know you play it in your car, headphones, whatever, you go like it. You talk about money a lot mm. in this interview. Mm. Um, counting money daily uh, is a phrase, mm. uh, record label name, right? Yes, sir. Or crew name mm -hmm. and phrase you've mentioned here in this interview. Uh, how much money do you think you've counted in your lifetime? In my lifetime? Man, I can't put it a number on that, but I can say at least. At least sixty thousand. That you know what I'm saying, personally. At least count it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can say about that. What's the most amount of money you've seen in one at one time? At one time? Yeah. Ten thousand. <laughs> yeah, that was that was I was young too. So that was crazy. The only interesting fact that you need to hear it. <laughs> like it's it's I'm just saying it's a real it's some real genuine, raw and uncut. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about killing everybody, nothing like that. It's talking about actual stuff happening. We've been through, we seen, done, people locked up, you know what I'm saying, people that died, you know what I'm saying? We trying to tell our story. That's like we just trying to make it <laughs> like everybody else. You mentioned some names in this interview. Mm -hmm. Anybody else you want to shout out that you, you didn't uh, name? I want to shout out my manager, Jumpman. I want to shout out, shout out my two little brothers, Khalil and Chase. They live in Georgia and Mississippi. I want to shout out the people on, on the mixtape, most, most of the beats from Critty. Shout out to Critty. Um, shout out both of my grandmas. <laughs> Uh, shout out the people that help us put put the whole project together. Mm. And shout out Bucksport. Shout out CMD. That's about it. 